Actress 2 at Chungjin High School. Today I will talk about the problem violence in school. As you see, in Vietnam, school violence has been very complicated recently. School violence has that impact on the people who have violent behavior, victims, families, schools, and even the whole society. The main cause of school violence is a combination of weak community relations and lack of in hand within both schools and communities to effectively deal with the issue. Both of this need addressing. The beginnings of school violence often stem from differences between teenagers. You know teenagers, you know children are natural hurt creatures and will gravitate towards people who are similar in looks, mentalities, and those who have the same interests. Other groups seen as enemies, and this is where conflict conflict begins. Okay, so let's talk about the causes. Lack of, ed- lack of education is one of the main causes of school violence. If young people are not taught from an early age about consequences and wrong, there's a high chance they will endanger it later. Education must occur in the home alongside parents and in the classroom. Furthermore, when violence does happen, luck will to uh, luck will to punish the perpetrator of the perpetrator of the perpetrators encourage them to but participate in it again later. Teacher and law enforcement officers must stand down on violence. It's simple mentalities, a punishment says mentally and physically violence is wrong, and all in them to get away with it said to them they haven't done anything wrong. And this is a trend this is a trend we have seen replicated in UK prisons and the high we often raise. Weak community relations start school violence. Interracial school, uh, school where tr- where students come from different backgrounds, so the seeds of conflict. Many students haven't came into contact with people from backgrounds before, and this creates suspicion and wariness. It's highly unlikely violence will occur if they have been in contact with people from backgrounds and parental guidance in the home has a large effect on the be- effect on school violence. If uh, our students parents are uh, violent or prejudic, they are more likely to develop the same aggressive char- characteristic. Even if there's only one person like this in the schools, it can still lead to violence in the classroom. Overall, in a so much the risk factor factors of violence of school violence. The is the lack of will to act on it when it does happen. It's impossible to stamp out of all ties of violence. Children make mistakes, and if we happened and to stop it and to stop it happening again. Schools and community officers must act. And here are some solutions. Firstly, school, schools should set into action strong disciplinary measures which perpetrators of the act will face if they fail to abide by the institution rules and regulation. There should only act, uh, there should on there should also be also be up to date security measures in schools and school sponsored events to ensure that students are properly searched and stripped of any kind of weapon before entering the premises. Uh, the buildings the school buildings and school sponsored events should also be properly guarded in order to quickly detect any possible traces of violence. The need to engage students in awareness campaigns can't be overemphasized.
Students should be considered and enlightened on anger management, conflict resolution, and character character development, and a host of other topics that we have to do some of uh, that we have to do with the that we have to do uh, with the psychological issues associated with the problem with the with the school violence. Secondly, parents or guardians have a key role to play because they because they have a key role to play because they they ensure that the atmosphere in at home yes and adults bear should bear in mind that teenagers are impressionable and as such they tend to adopt their behavioral standards from what it what is obtainable in their household. Effective com effective communication between uh, parents and uh, their children their children will have reduced some of the perceived risks which cause students to act violently and also properly monitoring of the association. That children are worth a capitalism mean through which uh, the problem of school violence uh, can be solved. Parents may also seek professional advice advice regarding the re regarding type of video games and television programs that children should be exposed to. In conclusion, violence in schools uh, is a social problem with an enormous ripple effect effect and one of and one of one act of violence can trigger numerous negative outcomes and hence the communities it impeded to work as a whole the work as a whole uh, to curb this social ill. And this is my pr presentation. This is my presentation, and thank you for listening.